Hi, everyone. Um, the first session of the day is about uh, using AI communication and organizational data in a business app. And this is actually a multi-series uh, session where Dan Wallin is leading. And today I'm just the supporting uh, person for his sessions. Um, trying to move to the next slide. Yes. OK. Um, so in today's session, we will be using Azure OpenAI and GPT prompts to generate completions for email and SMS messages. And specifically, um, we will be uh, doing Azure, we will be using Azure OpenAI and by giving just two, three lines of uh, description, we will be creating the entire email and uh, SMS messages. Uh, this wasn't the only session. If you uh, missed the previous sessions, uh, Dan covered about integrating OpenAI, creating Azure OpenAI resources, or uh, using Azure OpenAI and GPT prompts to convert natural language to a SQL. You can check the community YouTube channel uh, to, um, to, to understand more about those sessions. We have more of these uh, coming up. Today, we will be covering the uh, completions for email and SMS. And the next week we will be uh, talking about how you can bring your uh, data using Cognitive Search and Azure OpenAI. And we have more sessions related to communication features, such as creating a, a ACS resource uh, for your solution or making a phone call or uh, sending an SMS or email. Um, stay tuned for those sessions coming up. And finally, we will be showing you how you can bring organizational data into your apps um, leveraging from Microsoft Graph and Azure OpenAI service. Let me quickly show you a demo uh, Dan recorded earlier, just to recap what we are covering in the app, what are the overall functionalities. Let me play the video. So um, we can mainly choose one of the uh, items and see the relevant content about it. We can create a chat message, we can create a new chat, or we can uh, view the emails, we can see all the related calendar items or files. Um, and we can uh, choose any other one and do, uh, create the same experience for any, any of the other ones. We can run the query uh, and we can get the related customer data related to our query. And finally, we can contact the customer. We can either call the customer and this will bring the phone number or we can actually um, create email or SMS for the customer. This part is the part we will be creating today or I will show you how you can uh, create it. But, but just giving a couple of lines of messages, mainly the rules, uh, we can generate the email and SMS by using Azure OpenAI, and we can send the email and SMS by just clicking to it. Okay, so we're moving to the real part. Let me switch to Visual Studio, if I can. Nope. Maybe I should end the slideshow. Yeah, this will work. OK, so first of all, our app has uh, two parts, one client and one server. And server is in TypeScript. Currently, I'm running the app. Let me move this here. Currently, I'm running the client side and also uh, the server side. And we are running Docker behind the scenes. Uh, to have the open AI experience in the server side, we are actually calling, um, let me quickly show you, complete email SMS messages. Before maybe I jump into how things work behind the scenes, I will show you how the app looks like in real. Exactly the same way that Dan recorded earlier, I'm logged in with my email and I can contact the customer by just selecting you know, either call customer or if you want to try out the Azure OpenAI experiences, you can click email SMS customer. You can give some of the examples, for example, order is delayed for two weeks and maybe make jokes where appropriate. I'm sure customers will not like that, but let's see. And this is using Azure OpenAI behind the scenes. And um, we are actually returning the data in JSON. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but this automatically creates everything uh, for us, all of the content. And you can go back and change the um, they, the way you, you would like to see how you want to create email or SMS. 
So this is the experience we are cre creating, and here's how we are doing this. Uh, first of all, in the server side, in the API roots.ts, we are uh, creating complete email SMS messages. This function uh, calls complete email SMS messages function. Let's quickly go to this function. So here, what we are providing to Azure OpenAI service is the system message. And system message covers all the information uh, about this app. For example, Assistant is a bot designed to help users create email and SMS messages for, from data and return a JSON object. And we have a couple of rules how we would like to uh, carry on and get the response. And here we again highlight that we only want to return JSON object. And again, here we highlight that we just want to return JSON object. But believe me, sometimes it doesn't work. So um, just to make sure that it's returning JSON, we are actually running some manual functions behind the scenes too. But this is actually the system prompt and we get the user prompt as well from the user, depending on what, what rules they would like to apply for the email or SMS. And finally, we are calling open uh, AI with the system prompt and user prompt. Let's quickly check the OpenAI as well. In OpenAI, we have different keys that we can use. In our case, uh, we, are, we are using Azure OpenAI, but we are not bringing our own data yet. This is the next week's topic if you are interested. Uh, today, we are only running Azure OpenAI, and this app works with the um, public OpenAI key too, if you're interested. But in our case, it's uh, using Azure OpenAI. Let's go to uh, the Azure OpenAI completion. And here's the part where we call the um, API endpoint and get the response. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, I specifically mentioned uh, that sometimes it doesn't return JSON. It returns in uh, different formats. Um, even though we provide that in the system prompt, sometimes we need to extract the JSON data. And this is what we're doing here, uh, specifically if we get a response uh, in JSON format or not in JSON format, we are, we are checking that. And we are extracting the JSON. And finally, after returning the extract JSON function, this is where, where you see the user SMS or email experiences. Um, this is what I wanted to share today. and couple more slides how you can try this experience by yourself. This is actually a workshop. You can start from scratch and uh, build by yourself and you can try out this app. Um, and this is available in the Microsoft Cloud page. And as you can see, all of the steps showing in this document is actually a session in the community calls uh, in the upcoming weeks. And if you're interested in, as I mentioned, trying out yourself, you can scan the QR code or go to aka.ms slash openai dash ACS dash MS graph. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me or Dan, Dan Wahlin to learn more uh, and get unlocked about your uh, blockers. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.